Hello folks and welcome. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. Um, adjust your YouTube player if necessary. So today's video is on Manjaro Cinnamon Desktop. Manjaro Cinnamon Desktop. Today I'm going to talk about how to create instantaneous power off icons. I'll also talk about adding a timer to your standard power off icon. This is normally not here. If any of that stuff interests you, then continue watching. One more time, welcome. So I'm going to start with this button here. Normally you do not have a timer when you click this. It just is waiting for you to click. I'm going to hit cancel. That's going to do an auto shutdown. Okay. So whenever you are creating icons that have to do with power, I'm going to give you this advice right up front. Save your work before proceeding to power down your system. Open documents, open web browser stuff, save your work. So how do I turn a timer on? Well, system settings, you can be clicked this way, or you can right click on your panel bar and click system settings. Under general, this is normally off. So that looks like this when you normally shut down the system waiting for you to click one of those four boxes. If you want one with a timer with an auto shutdown, slide this on and plug in your time frames or use the plus or minus. So uh, if you decide to put in your own numbers, just hit the enter key. I'm gonna make this 17 seconds to be silly. And I'll let you see that it will be 17 seconds by the time I click this and counting down to zero. If you are wanting to walk out the door, it will power down the system when that reaches zero. You can also force it to restart, and I'm going to hit cancel before it reaches zero. Okay, that's how you do that. Creating these, your desktop icons are normally double click, and these icons down here are single click. I'll talk about some cautions when you place these icons either here or in this menu but I'll show you how to make these. This is extremely easy to do. Right click, the third item is create launcher. You name it whatever you want. So my last one was called power off now because it doesn't ask any questions. It does the work immediately. You will see how fast these will work and you'll probably be amazed how quickly that it powers down your system. That's why I say save it, save your stuff. What's another way? Well, shut down. Now is another one. All right. Command. Command. The launchers are very powerful, and there's lots of commands in here, but most people don't know what all those commands are. So I'm going to give you one that will power off your system. P-O-W-E-R-O-F-F. -F, all one word, lowercase letters. It's got a check mark. I'm going to add an extra letter to it. So if you misspell it, you get a... Well, it looks like a stop sign. It's an invalid command. The executable is not valid. So if you remove that and take a look at the arrow, the yellow pop-up box says valid executable. Translation, good command. All right. Comments are optional. Don't need to launch in terminal. Don't ye uh, I don't need to use any of this stuff. If you're good to go with the rocket, then hit OK and answer the next question. But I'm going to give it something better than the rocket. So we can do this many ways. You can click emojis or any other system icon for that matter, but I'm going to look for this red one. S-H-U-T. All right, I have that icon. I have one also with a black halo on it, and I have a black and white one. So I'm going to use the black and white one on this next example because it kind of works nicely with my real dark wallpaper. This is the Manjaro cinnamon wallpaper. It's very simplistic, and more importantly, it's nice and dark. You could also browse for your own icons. I'm only going to say this once. And I've given the same advice over the many, many years and the many, many channels that I've had on YouTube. Okay. Whenever you create personal icons, you put, place them in a folder. A lot of people place them in their home folder. And uh, you name your folder or directory something. And then you start using an icon from your personal library. Whether you create them or download them off the internet, that's all up to you. 
but once you use one or more icons out of that folder or directory you created, remember this, if you rename that folder or rename the icon when it's in use, during a reboot, you may get a blank because it needs a locator where that icon is located. If you stick with the system icons, you're okay. But you can certainly use your own icons, providing you understand that rule. Do not remove the folder, don't move the folder, don't rename the folder, and don't rename the icon once it's in use. Now I'm going to continue. All right, once we created the name, the command, and the icon, we click OK and answer the question. Would you like to add this launcher to the menu also? It will be placed in the other category initially. I would answer yes, and I'll show you why. If you answered no, this will be the only location where the icon exists. When you answered yes, it will be part of your menus. I created now three of these in the other category. I'm going to come back to this in a minute. We're going to now create another one for reboot. Right click, create launcher. I'm just going to call this one reboot. It's simple enough. The command is literally R-E-B-O-O-T, all lowercase. You can see the command is valid. Something better than the rocket? All right, we have a couple of choices. We can use uh, the same yellow one I used here, or we can use the black and white one. I'll use the black and white one so they can clearly see the difference on these four. I'll say yes also. All right, so I have a colorful power off, and I have a black and white shutdown now. Both of these do the same job. So let's compare apples to apples so you can see what I'm speaking of. The icons are different, yes, the name are different, but the command is the same. They're both power off, and that's the most important thing. Same thing with the reboot and the black and white. If I can click on the box. All right, icons are different, name is different, or the commands are the same. All right, they're in your menu in the other category. You can certainly search for them. All right, so we have a couple of different ways if you want to distribute them in different locations. So you can right click, add it to your panel, desktop or favorites. If you add it to your desktop, I highly suggest using that instead of dragging them. Otherwise you get a blank box on your, on your desktop and the only way to get rid of that is to restart Cinnamon, which you can do without rebooting. That would be on Alt and F2 and an R. Just giving you a hidden command there for that. All right, so if I wanted to add it to the panel, I can do that. It's right here. If I wanted to add this also to my favorites, I can click that and it blanks the menu out and puts the icon here. Now I'm going to show you my way. I'm going to unpin that. All right, so I'm going to go here and I'm just going to literally drag the icon out and then I'm going to drag it downstairs also so I don't have to move it again because I want it maybe in there. You can, if you click out for a second, if you change your mind, you can also move it, okay? The Vivaldi icon looks exactly like that one, so what are the probabilities of me clicking that? Pretty high. So I'll do the same thing with the reboot. I'm just doing that so I don't have to double click on any. I mean, I don't have to do this twice. So otherwise you would have done add to panel, then reopen this, and two favorites. Okay, so you get the idea. All of these icons down here are single click icons. Am I advising that you put these down here? Absolutely not. But it's your machine. If you click on these, it will power off your system and it won't ask you any questions. You'll click that and you'll go, what happened? It'll just power off the system. You click that, does the same thing, powers off the system, then reboots. I'm going to unpin that. Personally, I don't like this. In here, same thing, single clicks. But again, this is a lot harder to click on because I got to open the menu up for this. Or you can place them on your desktop. These are double clicks, a little bit safer. See, I can click that once and highlight it. All right, so I'm going to pull these back out. 
the cinnamon desktop knows where they go. You, you can drop them anyway. All right, so I only want to keep two of these. And if I go in here and right click on these, there's no removals. How do you get rid of them? Just by you clearing the icon out doesn't get rid of it. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to highlight that and hit delete. I'm going to highlight this one and hit delete. So I'm back to where the two ones that I started with. These are still in here. This one and this one is still here. There's no uninstall. How do you do this? Well, that's one of the reasons I do these kind of videos. Sam is our made up name user for today. If you want, I'll go full screen my way. So um, if you don't know how to get into hidden, it's uh, view and uh, show hidden files and folders. Another shortcut is control H. So control H, now you see it, now you don't. Anything that starts with a period or a dot, you can see this is born again shell history, the dot bash history. And uh, this one here is called uh, period local or dot local, hidden folder. Open that thing up, you'll just have one subfolder called share or directory. We'll just call it folder from now on. And applications, there's where the icons are stored. I'll make this slightly larger if you like, I'm doing it my way. And I'm going to pull this down. So I want to get rid of this one because that's the not the one I want to keep. I want to keep this one and this one, but not the ones that are black and white. They're still part of my menu, right? You can see them in here. So if you get rid of that, highlight it first, hit delete. Highlight that, hit delete. And uh, Sam is just a made up name. It's your username, period local share applications. That's where they're stored. Now they're gone. Thank you for watching.